Well, the decision to not expand the urban boundary in Milton and Halton Hills is still a bit of a sore spot for some. To recap, a motion was passed at a regional council to stop the potential development of about 5,000 acres of land that supporters believe could have helped those municipalities keep up with required growth mandated by the province by the year 2051. Melissa Candelaria is at our Halton Hills studio with more on this. Melissa, it seems our chambers of commerce have been vocal in their discipline appointment about the decision, but how does not expanding the boundary affect local business opportunities? Well, Jason, that's just it. According to the Halton Hills and Milton Chambers of Commerce, not expanding the urban boundary will limit future business opportunities. Scott McCammon with the Milton Chamber says under the current urban boundary, we're running out of employment land. And I think that's going to be a huge problem for us, you know, as we're, we run out of employment lands. You know, the companies that are looking to uh, to be in the GTHA may not choose Halton, Halton Hills or, or Milton. So we've had a lot of expansion with warehousing distri distribution, big footprint uh, organizations, uh, but we're lacking office space. And so this is necessary growth, but it's also strategic growth. We're not talking about paving over every inch of farmland. We're talking about key strategic areas like the Egerton area at, uh, at Trafalgar and the 401. And, and it's not farmland. The concerns are certainly the same in Halton Hills. Executive Director Melanie Fraser says they could have had about 865 acres of employment lands. So it's a little different in North Halton because we do have a lot of logistics and a lot of warehousing. So it's not traditional, very dense, um, you know, like a business tower type of, uh, of look. But for us primarily, you know, this means um, our hospital, you know, Halton Hills absolutely needs a new hospital. And uh, we do not currently have the space for them to be able to have a footprint within Halton Hills uh, for, for their next capital campaign. So um, I know there were specifics as to what that equaled as far as jobs, but I think what people need to understand is that this doesn't happen tomorrow. This is a 30 year growth plan. So if we think back to, you know, I'd like to tell my neighbors, you know, you couldn't get a Starbucks in Halton Hills 10 years ago, 20 years ago, but you love doing that right now. So, so it, we can't kick this down the road. We have to have these hard conversations now about what our community looks like and 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 part of that is making sure that we're protecting land but a lot of people forget that 60 percent of farmland in in Halton Hills is already protected under under the green space so we're it, it's not an all or nothing proposition so the motion to stop the urban boundary expansion was tabled by Oakville Mayor Rob Burton and seconded by Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward last month. The motion passed 15-9, which McCammon was disappointed with considering who wanted to stop the expansion in the first place. Our, our destiny is being uh, uh, formulated by the people that, uh, that are in South Halton and not the people in North Halton where it makes a real difference because, you know, South Halton is pretty much built out. So we've allowed Oakville and Burlington to expand and grow as they wanted to. And now it's our turn. And now they're saying no, which you know, we think is totally unfair. Now, Jason, it seems like this issue isn't going away anytime soon. In fact, both McCammon and Fraser says it will be a hot button issue during both the provincial and municipal elections. And just because the region voted this way, they say it doesn't mean the province is going to agree. Halton is the second region in southern Ontario to avoid urban boundary expansion, Hamilton being the first to make that decision last year.